Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. The easiest points the team can get during their first 15 seconds is just leaving their community. That's the taped off area around their driver stations on the side of the field. They get three points for just moving across that blue or red taped line. However, as we have moved now to Teleov, they can no longer get those points, but plenty to get from scoring game pieces if they haven't already. Team 135 making quick work of a cone and taking it over their charge station. Sometimes it takes too much time to go around. Team 461 making quick use of their swerve drive with a unique mechanism to pick their cone up off the ground regardless of orientation. Blue Alliance making heavy use of their loading dock and their human player stations to deliver cones off the ground into their robot. There's plenty of cones and cubes outside the field that the human player can deliver through those loading stations. Team 829 Digital Goats ramming into their grid but positioning to place a cube perfectly into the middle of their grid. Remember, each score piece scored there is worth three points. Two if they place it in the bottom, and it has to be all the way across that blue line, which indicates the start of the grid. 80 seconds remaining in this match. 39-36, who has made use of their blue loading zone, now making crossing diagonally across the field to place the cone into the grid. Lots of the blue lines doing the same. Let's take a look on those links. The links you can view in the bottom left and right of the audience display. The red alliance currently has three out of five. They're trying to hit five out of five for extra ranking points. 8116, I believe that's Hatchet demonstrating how the human player can interact with the robot and they can collect their cone and bring it away. They have a unique gravity orientation system that allows the cone to be oriented so they can place it better in the grid. 829 swiftly releasing it out of their mechanism with about 30 seconds remaining in the match. There's the sound, that's end game. The Blue Alliance is already on their switch. They're wanting it to be in a level position to score the most points as possible. The Red Alliance lining up to match them as well with plenty of time remaining in the match. We'll have to see if the Blue Alliance goes for three robots. We do have minimal time remaining. They want it to be balanced. Both teams are sitting pretty and looking good with only four seconds remaining in this match. Parking in your challenge area can receive additional points. That was the end of qualification match 13. Let's see our scores for this match. And the winner was the Red Alliance. Winning with a score of 137, making their way up towards that high score, but not quite yet. 461 decreasing in rank due to not receiving four ranking points, lowering their ranking point average.